So to start, we'd like to pay homage to the ancestral Asian roots of the spiritual path of the Buddha's teachings, which have been benefiting humanity for more than 2,600 years. But before that, we want to acknowledge that for many, many years, we in the West have been remiss in not highlighting our deep respect towards our Asian spiritual ancestors who were faithful caretakers of the Dhamma in many countries and cultures and through many generations through the time of the Buddha, since the time of the Buddha. We humbly ask for your forgiveness for this omission and we'll do our best to continue to remember that. So in paying homage and respect to the ancestral Asian roots of our spiritual path, we go all the way back to the source in ancient India, where the Bodhisattva, who became Gautama Buddha, practiced meditation under the Bodhi tree in Bodh Gaya, attaining the sure heart's release of full enlightenment. For 45 years, the Buddha generously offered liberating teachings to countless celestial and human beings. And those beings continued to share this wisdom, which spread throughout Asia and beyond. Because of this generosity and compassion, we are here today, continuing to cultivate our noble aspirations, carrying forth these spiritual teachings and love of the Buddha's teaching. This is the Dhamma, this is our lives. Recently, I heard a story of one of our elder teachers, the late Seda Upandita. He told this regarding the spread of the Dhamma. He likened the Buddha's teachings to the pure waters coming from high mountains. The natural rains upon those mountains flowed down through many rivers and through many years and centuries, going through many lands and flowing out to sea, reaching many people. From India, these teachings flow to China, Tibet, Vietnam, Cambodia, Thailand, Myanmar, Laos, Bhutan, Nepal, Korea, Mongolia, Afghanistan, and forgive me if I'm missing any crossing oceans, reaching Japan, Sri Lanka, Malaysia, Taiwan. The people of these original Asian countries protected and sustained the core teachings of the Dhamma. They were responsible stewards and guardians of the Buddha's teachings for many centuries and through many, many generations. Eventually, the teachings reached other parts of Europe Africa, Central and South America, Mexico, Australia, New Zealand, Canada, and the US. We are so fortunate that this has been our noble inheritance. We owe a huge debt of gratitude to those spiritual ancestors of Asian roots. So let's take a few moments to remember our good fortune and the huge debt of gratitude we owe to our Asian spiritual ancestors for keeping these teachings alive generation by generation. May, our, may we share all of our great blessings with these ancestors. <clears throat> 